Hey guys, and welcome to Words of Scale. So last time I did a review on Copify AI. Many of you asked about the Roundup Post feature that it has. And the reason I didn't do a review on that was that at the same time, Agility Writer launched a product Roundup beta version, which I think is amazing. And I just wanted to compare the two. So this video is going to be showdown between the Copify and Agility Writer when it comes to Amazon and product reviews. For this comparison, I have chosen a trading computer query on Amazon that returns different results, gaming computers mainly. So I'll just pick at random three products. That's number one, number two, and maybe number three. And let's see how they're going to be reviewed with the two templates. So first, let's start with the Copify. What we need to do is go to Workflows and Roundup Post. This is my folder. The title is going to be three best trading computers. And the keyword is going, is going to be best trading computers. So of voice, I will use professional. Let's hit next. Add product URLs. So I will need to bulk add, I guess. And for some reason, I cannot press next. So I have to press add. And then next, I don't know, this is silly. Topics to cover. Mm, topics to cover, topics to cover. So maybe, maybe price, performance, speed. Now let's, we can actually generate processor, RAM, storage, graphics cards, monitor quality, uh, which is silly since we are not talking about monitors. Mm, graphic cards. Yeah. Okay. Add question. I don't have any questions. Now I can generate the questions. Okay. Nice. What specs? Uh, do you need an extra monitor? Is it possible to build my own trading computer? Okay. Fair enough. Looks valid. And now the model. So I will be using GPT-4, I guess. Launch. And it looks like it's starting to write. Okay, now let's go to Agility Writer. So again, three best trading computers. Number of headings, let's leave it at four. Advanced beta, mm, create outline, why not? And here we actually have a few options which we didn't uh, in the Copify. So if I say create outline, it's going to suggest the products on its own, which is good. So if I'm not in the category and I don't know what I'm talking about, I can just let AI suggest products. And these are the products. Introduction, top three key features. Okay, so it looks okay, but I will be, obviously, I'll be changing the products. So our first product was SkyTech Shadow Gaming Computer. So put it here. And the auto stands for the Amazon link. And if this liquid, and the beauty of both uh, softwares is that I can use whatever link I want. I can use another review, uh, just plain review. I can use uh, non-Amazon products. Okay, so looks like the same products. Now we need to, we can insert the terms and keywords, but I couldn't be bothered. So we need to validate, press validate the products. So it's going to validate the links. And uh, just to make sure, it's making sure these products are on Amazon. And if they are not found on Amazon, I would uh, would need to insert other links manually. But this is a good setup, I think. So by default, this works with Amazon, but you can make it work with any URL that talks about the computer. You, you can go to the uh, Acer's website, you can go to a review by blogger. Okay, it looks like 
all these links are found. Let's just double check. So it looks like the same one. Okay. So now <laughs> there are actually a lot of options within Agility. So you can input the comparison table and you can actually tell it what the columns are going to be named. I will use the default option, but you could have gone name, name, RAM, processor, and whatever. So just use the default option. I will click on pros and cons, featured images from Amazon. So it's not able to fetch images from other websites, but from Amazon you can, and you can choose the two copies option, but I'll just leave it as is. Okay, so let's send it to the writing queue. Your request has been added to a queue, so let's go to history, and yeah, it's uh, been written. Okay, so it's been a while, and surprisingly, Copify is still generating the article. And Agility Writer is done, so let's look at what Agility Writer did. Three best trading computers. Oh, wow. <laughs> That, oh my God. Well, this is crazy. So let's, hang on. So three best trading computers. This is the intro. Quick recommendation. These are the links. You get a full on comparison table, like price, CPU, and this is all auto suggested. So this is uh, product number one. Highlights, features, pros and cons. And this is summary, product info and price. Same for the second computer. Third computer. Conclusion. In conclusion, choosing the right trading computer is crucial. The Skydeck Shadow Gaming boasts high performance capability. Alternatively, the Thermal Take offers advanced features. So, okay, it's kind of suggested two out of three. And you have your general facts, which you may or may not use. You get the links, you get the FAQs. What are the top features to look in a trading computer? Can I use regular home computer for trading? These are all highly relevant. Suggested the catchy title shows, upgrade your trading game with these top three computers. I like this one. So this is crazy. This is like, wow. <laughs> I'm not into Amazon reviews, but you can make a review for digital products this way. So we'll click to copy. Let's just run it through originality first. And this is 3000 words. So this is a pretty long article. 94% originality. Wow. And yeah, the general facts, which I should have deleted because I don't use them all that often. So I shouldn't have, shouldn't have included this information here. Let's rerun the scan. 98% original, wow. Let's just put it here. Uh, AI detection, 98. I won't be obviously making a full comparison, just uh, the ones that I ticked. Okay, let's go to Grammarly. Okay, how about readability? Readability score is 41. How about plagiarism? 41. And plagiarism is 3%. 3%. And um, the quality is superb. So the quality is 5 plus. Wow. And you do remember that we as a community have an exclusive 15% discount that nobody else has. Okay. And what about Copify? Copify is still generating. Wow. This is, this is crazy. This is taking so long, guys. It's been like 10 minutes. So, okay, I had to redo the whole thing with Copify. So, it's starting now. It's um, writing as we speak. And I'm assuming this is the intro. Okay, so it looks like he, this is finished. Let me first check the originality for Copify. So Agility Writer returns 89%. How about Copify? And Copify is 100. <laughs> Good. 
so better a perfect score how about reusability and reusability is 37 37 and plagiarism is 3% also okay so let's talk quality what I don't like uh, are the gigantic paragraphs but uh, other than that you have the product in question you have the features you have the pros and cons so this is very straightforward this is very similar to what other reviews would look like even though I think this is good then it adds a buying guide which is amazing so it just goes beyond the three computers that we've analyzed and goes what about processors memory storage graphic cards all as they pertain to trading computers and the frequently asked questions are very relevant. What com com components should I look for in a trading computer? Can laptops be used as a trading computer? How much hard drive space do trade PCs need to have? And the conclusion. But, and this is, this is solid guys. This is solid and the metrics are solid, but just look again at the, just look at, uh, look at this. And how can you even compare the two? <laughs> And the, there are tables, there are lists. You even get the final suggestion. And again, the uh, FAQs are very relevant as well. So in my book, and you may say I'm biased, but uh, I'm, I'm actually, let me say that, I will score Copify as a four, Maybe even four minus. I like the FAQs and I like the buying guides, but this is very generic, guys. What what Copify does is very generic. So I won't be even scoring because this is very similar. This is very similar. So let's just assume this is four and a half. This is five. And so this is five. <laughs> this is four and a half. So Agility Writer wins, and the UX, I like the UX of Agility Writer better, it's less confusing. But overall, Copify is up there, and it's much cheaper, but again, Agility Writer has a special coupon available to our community. So all in all, I like Agility Writer much better. I think the level of uh, details is unparalleled. So I'm not in the niche myself, but I'm just, you know, I'm very tempted to, to just create a website around trading computers and copy and paste this article and see what happens. <laughs> but I will not be doing that, but you can. So that was it. Hopefully you found this overview helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.